Hello Toots. Welcome to the programming series of TechTwit. I am Ronita. I am a PhD scholar in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering of IIT Kharagpur and I will help you through this series. First of all, you need to understand that you don't need any kind of previous experience or knowledge of programming to attend this course because we will be covering every aspect of programming as well as we will give you tips and tricks to crack the questions appearing in the GIT exam. So let's take an overview of the course. So the course structure has been designed taking into account the GIT syllabus. First of all there will be introduction where we will tell you about the basics of programming. We will learn about different programming languages but we will mainly focus on C language. We will show you the insight of how a program is written, compiled and executed at runtime. We will discuss about different data types like integer, float and character. And we will also discuss about condition checking like if else or switch case, different types of loops like for, while, do while etc. Next we will dive into the detailed discussion on functions. So in functions we will talk about parameter parsing and recursion and as you can understand that function is really an essential part in a procedure oriented language like C. Next we will talk about pointers where we will be dealing with address of variables like how to access and modify values of variables using its address. In the storage classes section we will learn about different storage, storage specifications possible for variables. And lastly in scoping and binding we will learn how the attributes of a variable like its type or its value are associated with different parts of a program. So this is all about the overview of the course structure. So after finishing this series you are expected to get a good marks in the programming part of your GATE exam and you will also be able to write good programs on your own. The relevant, other relevant topics like arrays, strings and structures, these things will be covered in the data structure series. But if you want any modification in this existing structure or if you want us to insert any other relevant topics in this, you are more than welcome to put in your suggestion and we will try our best to incorporate your choice into this structure. So bye for now. See you in the next video and happy programming.